Information programming is a novel programming paradigm uh, with the goal to increase the information to a solution. This can be of a planning problem, a recognition problem, or some kind of optimization problem. The method is to be extremely specific about your solution space and to, to specify it in a pedantic level of, of detail, what, it, what this looks like, what the possible deductions are between the data here, and how you can join information together or different data graphs. The unintended killer application here is definitely parallel processing. And the drawback is that it's very strict. You ha really have to translate your problem into this domain. Uh, it doesn't work for anything. For anything and uh, it contains some scary names. Uh, and there is also some magic I won't be able to go into. Um, so parallel processing. There are a few problems that your naive um, solu solutions uh, have, which is that uh, with parallel processing, your results can return out of order. Uh, you can have complex execution schemes uh, with communication between threads. You can have missing results. And trying to solve the missing results, you can end up with duplicate results. And there are uh, laws for each of these that we can implement. And pop quiz, like, what is the algebraic data structure that implements all these laws? Is the bounded join lattice. And Requiring your way out of um, the, the problems of parallel processing is not a new idea, and foundations of parallel programming uh, goes into that in a lot of detail. So let's start with the lattice for any domain. Uh, if we have a type A, uh, we can extend it with uh, a conflict uh, top type for conflicting values and a missing uh, type. And then let's assume for a second that A is 1 through 4. And the join operation is uh, as we expect, so joining information together um, only works if uh, the, the data is equivalent and else it raises up to conflict. Uh, in, a, in a Hasse diagram, this looks like this, uh, where you follow the arrows um, to, to know what the result of a join is. So we can have different lattices. Uh, you can see on the left-hand side the options one through four uh, lattice, which has as, as a bottom element. Instead of missing, it has all possible options. And by removing options, you increase the information about the problem. Um, and we can translate between these. Uh, these are called anti galois connections, scary name, but basically means that information from one lattice can transfer to information on another lattice. The example we will go over is a Sudoku. We start with all, uh, all values in, uh, under, this, under these lattices initialized to the bottom elements, which is one through four, or the question mark. And now uh, we load in a Sudoku on the right-hand side, um, and then uh, with the translation we talked about, uh, we can get to the singleton sets uh, on the left-hand side. And then uh, we can do some deductions, right? On our Sudoku, this could be the block-level deductions, uh, which is subtracting the, subtracting the uh, singleton elements from, from the other sets in the block, and uh, translate that back. So by doing that, we got another result. Um, do the same for rows. Do the same for columns, and do that up until some stop criteria. For simple Sudokus, this could be fixed points. For more complex ones, this is backpropagation. And this is completely abstracted away. The different policies are completely abstracted away in this framework. Thank you for listening. Um, please visit this URL. This gives you a lot more detail uh, and a request for collaboration. And um, yeah, have a good one. OK, thank you, Adam.